Hi everyone, welcome to the Wise Man Show. Um, today's uh, special guest, I'm delighted to welcome uh, two guys who'll be running uh, a, a, a fantastic conference later on this year, SR Conf. Um, firstly, let me just uh, introduce Alan Whitford, uh, the uh, the founder of RC Euro and the uh, the chairman of uh, of the event SR Conf. Hi, Hung. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Uh, great to have you on board, Alan. Um, and also to welcome uh, Vic Okezi, uh, Managing Director of Crezia and also the co-founder of uh, F- SR Conf. Welcome on board, uh, Vic. Thanks for having us, uh, Hung. Really great. Great stuff. Well, listen, guys. I mean, just a, a quick question to all the viewers out there. Um, SR Conf, what is it all about? Um, I mean, how would you give this a strap line, gents? Right, okay, well, SR Conf is a social recruiting conference. So we, we started it off last year as, uh, as a, a conference, a one day conference that brings people together, especially guys in the recruitment community, to look at how you know, social media is impacting, impacting recruitment, but also to look at you know, real life case studies and presentations from both global brands and, of course, uh, you know, medium sized companies and how they implement the social media uh, internally. And, but, but this also involves how they use social media for recruiting, but also for employer branding. So that's pretty much what the conference is about. And we try to focus a lot more on real practical uh, examples and scenarios from these brands. Yep, okay, great. Um, uh, what about sort of uh, the, 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 the people who should be attending this event, Vic? Um, I mean, do you have an idea who the audience should, needs to be for this? Absolutely, absolutely. So we, we sort of like target a lot of corporate recruiting and um, you know managers and directors. And what we did last year, last November, we tend to find that a lot of corporate companies are really interested in finding out you know how social media uh, could obviously impact uh, impact you know how they recruit. And uh, but also we we also get really great interest from independent recruiters, from guys in the recruitment community, and um, so recruitment marketing um, industry, recruitment advertising industry. And some guys from job boards as well who want to see, you know, how social is uh, changing, I suppose, the dynamics uh, with team recruiting. So, so, you know, pretty much everyone around about the recruitment industry, uh, but guys who actually do do the recruiting themselves and who also focus on employer branding, um, you know, this is sort of like a real target audience. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. I've had, the, I've had a look at the delegates list. Maybe I can direct this uh, question to Alan over here. I've had a look at the, the, the speakers and, and, and the people that you've got guesting on it. Uh, some impressive, uh, uh, sort of quite an impressive rose gallery there, guys. Um, I mean, would you be able to give me a, a quick sort of uh, a breakdown as to who, uh, who we might be expecting to see? Uh, absolutely. And I think uh, as we did in November, we've got a terrific lineup again of people that are actually really doing it. And what's also interesting is that not only are they doing it, they're willing to come and share their stories warts and all. They're willing to talk about the challenge they've had, what led them to want to get into direct sourcing and, and then to using social media as one of those sets of tools. So we've got people like Intel coming from uh, Israel um, where uh, they actually have responsibility for all of EMEA. Um, we've got uh, Frank coming up from Société Générale in France. Uh, which is quite interesting. So we're getting people from outside the UK. Paul yep. Maxson at Unilever has global responsibility for their recruiting strategy. So we've got some really terrific um, people that are coming from quite large companies. We've also got Kezia Suarez from Accenture, who last year was on one of our panels, and this year is stepping up to a full uh, presentation role. And then in reversing the mode, Matt Jeffy, who last year gave a presentation from EA, is now in one of our panels in his new role at, at Autodesk. So we've got quite a good uh, selection of people that have actually um, they've actually done it and, and are still doing it, are still trying to learn. Um, and I think to, to me, that's what makes our conference quite different from a lot of the other events. And it's what, in a sense, triggered Devic and I to, to do this last year is conversations about there's lots of talking heads uh, explaining what social media is all about. But we weren't seeing enough of the actual uh, real practitioners sharing their experiences. And that's what we really, uh, we've really got going for us. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, uh, it's fantastic you mentioned the uh, the water and all piece of that, um, Alan. I think you're right. There's, there's a bit too. Sometimes when you go to conferences, you get the impression that it's all a little bit too polished. Um, and you know these people have stepped up and done, done the perfect project uh, and they've sort of worked it out. Um, I think a lot of people would be very interested to understand what the challenges are 
uh, and how, how how they're getting managed, dealt with, or, or not, as the case may be. Um, so I, I think that's going to be uh, an interesting feature for uh, uh, for the for the people uh, who are attending the uh, the conference later this month. Um, you mentioned sort of panels and and uh, and, and speakers, uh, Alan. Would you be able to just expand on the format for us a little bit? Sure. I think we we've got some of the traditional format where we've got people with their presentation and their PowerPoint. Uh, we've also got a couple panels which are going to be much more like a discussion area rather than a standard sort of panel with each person just has one question and gives three answers or whatever it might be. We really want to make those panels much more interactive both with the members of the panel as well as the audience itself. And we'll probably, you know, flip some of those around right up till the <laughs> right up until on the day, won't we, Vic? Uh, Absolutely. Um, yeah. The other thing that we're doing, Hong, that uh, that your listeners might be interested in is that we actually, um, you know, we drink our own Kool-Aid, so to speak. This is a social media conference, so we live stream the entire day. And we also live tweet the entire day on the hashtag uh, SR. Um, we've got people that are dedicated throughout the day that, are, that, we, that we bring in that actually report. They're going to be live blogging, live tweeting. And um, uniquely that I've never seen before, we ran the Twitter stream side by side on either side of the main presentation screen. So people in the audience are participating via Twitter as well as by asking questions um, throughout the day. And I think last year what we had about three quarters of our audience actually tweeted during the event and Vix got the numbers. We had some amazing reach uh, with Twitter. Um, yeah. But we also had about 600 people uh, participate in the event throughout the day via the live streaming. Yeah, right. absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, it would be interesting to see what the numbers are in comparison to last year, um, because if we believe what we read and hear uh, on Twitter, mainly, um, you know, that, everyone, that everyone's jumping on it. So, uh, you know, it would be interesting to know whether it's now, you know, a, a ubiquitous thing. Um, but, but I'd be interested in, in that, actually, uh, just a little bit. In the sense, a lot of the guys I speak to are, are still pretty much distant uh, to the social media piece, um, uh, you know, we, we, there is something of a risk that when, whenever you sort of uh, go to events and networking events and conferences and so forth, uh, that you end up sort of meeting the same people. Um, you know, they do the conference circuit, so to speak. Um, what's your What's your message, I, I guess, guys, uh, to those people who might be wondering, okay, how relevant social media is to me? You know, we've heard about it. I don't really understand it. Um, I see a portion of these guys going off and having these events, but then how does it uh, sort of apply to me? What's your message to the people out there that really haven't got social media yet, haven't sort of found uh, a way to get interested in it? Sure, right. Okay, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I don't think it's a bad thing to meet the same, some, some, some people you know before in conferences, so it's always nice to like meet guys you know every now and again. But having said that, having said that, I mean, like, um. And mentioned and explained this conference got loads and loads of um, you know you know it's got to demonstrate loads of content from really good um, companies and I think excellent speakers as well and I suppose what people are going to take out from it is real relevant content that's going to be practical for themselves they're going to obviously learn how as individuals oftentimes individuals you know themselves starting off this stuff then taking it up to companies to buying how they started the journey how they sort of like build um, you know, create up you know social media channels and platforms and early stage feedback and, and results. And some of them could have been doing it for like you know very long time, maybe one to two years. Um, so obviously they're very advanced. And, and, and some others could have been doing it for the last you know, like three to six months. So I suppose you know it is that you know diversity in terms of content and information um, sharing that people are going to obviously take 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 away from from that day, including the networking. And conversations with other other of their, of their peers. So, so I mean, overall, it's going to be obviously um, a day of you know content, but also networking and conversations, and and you know you know you know thinking about how they can you know do this stuff uh, when they go back home. Uh, I think that's right, Vic. It, it, to us, it's always the most important part of the day. Um, isn't necessarily just the presentation. It's the buzz. It's the conversation that's happening beforehand. It's uh, when we go around the corner to the pub at the end of the day. Um, and it's uh, last year, incredible number of both the speakers and the delegates all just came to the pub. 
um, where we hung out for another couple hours. Um, <laughs> sometimes that's the best part of the event. Um, <laughs> but but it is also the, the wide range of different stories that you're going to hear during the day. Um, you know, with people like uh, Katie McNabb from PepsiCo, for example, is going to be talking about mobile and how that's starting to emerge as one of the real um, game changers, potentially, in, in recruiting, much less social recruiting. Uh, but I think the lesson that, that almost every single one of the speakers and the panelists will talk about is that you need to have a strategy for sourcing. And as part of that strategy, in one of the channels or a range of the social media elements, uh, you're right, Twitter, yeah, it seems to be growing and more important. But just having a Twitter account or just having a Facebook account or just having a LinkedIn profile, that isn't going to do it. You actually have to have a strategy about what you're doing as a recruiter. And what I think that the audience, both the, the, the virtual audience as well as the physical audience, really gain from, from our event is that learning experience of how do I even build a strategy? How do I think about employment branding? How do I think about you know marketing? Should I even be in recruiting? Should I be in marketing? Um, what do I do locally as well as internationally? And I think those are the, the shared stories, aren't they, Vic, that we really think make the day happen. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think we also have to mention, like, you know, I think you probably you know, mentioned it earlier, we'll be live streaming um, the events on the page, um, srcom slash live, and on the side of it, it's going to be the Twitter live feed as well. So obviously, if you've got you know your viewers and readers who can't make it on that day, they can actually watch the conference itself. They can participate via Twitter, and you know they can send tweets, and we in the audience will be seeing it you know on the Twitter fall and uh, engaging with them as well. Fantastic. Uh, well, listen, guys. Um, let's. Uh, uh, to where when is it? Where is it? And how do I get in? Um... <laughs> so, Thirty. So, the 30th of June, um, so June 30th, 2011, um, Central London, so the Cavendish Conference Centre. Um, so registration starts at 8.30. And of course, you can, you can obviously join us um, yourself, Hong, but you know, your viewers and, and readers can you know, join us via the website and register online, srconf.com forward slash um, attend. Um, so you know, you know, book online, you know, you know, on very seamless uh, registration via Eventbrite. Okay. And if you're following us on the hashtag SRConf already, um, a lot of conversation going on there, both about last year and this year. And uh, both on the SRConf site and the RC Euro site, we're running a series of interviews, uh, both written interviews and uh, audio interviews like this one. Um, so lots of different ways for people to engage with us. And I, to me, I think our best story last year was that uh, one of the Dutch guys couldn't actually – some of the Dutch guys couldn't get over because of the blizzard. <laughs> one reason we're doing it in June, not in November. Um, and uh, he got back to the office about noon. And he turned on the live streaming and I sent the best tweet of the day, which is, I finally made it to the conference from my office. Um, and then he, you know, he, he participated all throughout the day. And we're, we're actually gonna, looking forward to having him here physically this year. Fantastic stuff. Okay, guys, that's, uh, that's great to hear uh, from the horse's mouth, uh, so to speak, as to what SR Conf is all about. Um, certainly a, a very exciting event happening later this year. Uh, if you're in recruitment, in the job space, interested in anything with regards to uh, how social media impacts uh, that part of human resource, uh, then I recommend you check these guys out. Uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Vic. I look forward to seeing both of you uh, later on this month. Thanks so much, Paul. See you in June. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Take care, guys. Thanks, Ben. Bye.